Okay, so now I'm going to walk you guys through how to set up a Coinbase account and make a Bitcoin transfer. First of all, you're going to go to coinbase.com and click on get started. Enter in your first and last name, your email address, and choose password. Check that little box and click create an account. Um, then you have to agree to the, all of their privacy policies and verify your email address. Once you've verified your email, you have to set up two-factor authentication. With Coinbase, you don't have the option of opting out of it. So you're going to select your country, enter in your phone number, and click to have the code sent via text to your phone. Once you get the text, you enter in the code and submit it, and then you have to verify your identity. You're going to enter in your birth date, address, and apparently now you have to say what you're using Coinbase for, what your source of funds are, and what your current occupation is. Um, I'm honestly not sure what difference it makes, if any at all, so I kind of just selected whatever felt like the closest fit even though none of them really seemed like an exact match. So then you're going to click continue and to finish verifying your identity you have to upload a form of government issued ID, which means either a passport, driver's license, or photo ID. Once you choose which type of ID you want to upload, you have the option of uploading via webcam, a mobile camera, or uploading a file from your device. So then you upload and submit the image. So they say verification often occurs within hours but may take longer. So I was ready to call it a night at this point but I actually got the verification email about 45 minutes later I think. Then I was able to sign in. You do your two-factor verification again with your text message code and if you check the box there that means that you don't have to enter in the code for the next 30 days which is pretty practical if you don't happen to have your phone on you when you're trying to log in. Once the code has been verified, you also have to authorize the device you're using. So you're going to get an email for that containing your location and IP address and have to authorize it to make sure that no one is trying to hack into your account. Okay, so Coinbase is asking to verify my ID before I can complete the transfer. I immediately got an email from them explaining what was going on, and I also got text message. So they're making sure that nobody has unauthorized access to my account. Yeah, and now I'm being required to verify my ID. So I'm gonna click on driver's license and upload the scan of my driver's license. So I've got the front side and the back side. All right, click continue. And now they want me to take a selfie to confirm that I am the person on the ID that I just uploaded, so I'm gonna have to allow them to see me and take a picture. Now they're verifying my ID. This is something that's not gonna happen to you if you just recently created an account. This is something that happens if you haven't used your account in a long time or you clear your cash and all of your cookies and they don't recognize the device or your location and they just want to make sure that nothing suspicious is going on and you are who you say you are. Okay, it took just a few minutes but I did get the email saying my ID has successfully been verified.